Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Capablanca and George Alan Thomas. This extraordinary game was played in Hastings in 1919. Capablanca had white pieces and he started with e4. Thomas played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5, the Spanish game. d6. Knight to c3. Carlsen also likes to play like this. Knight to f6. d4. Bishop to e7. And the Capablanca castled king's side. Bishop to d7 and pinning. Rook to e1. Knight takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. E takes on d4. Queen takes on d4. Bishop takes bishop on b5. Knight takes on b5. A6, kicking the knight back, knight goes to c3, and Thomas castled king's side 2, bishop to g5, black to move, knight to d7, following the rule when you have less space exchange pieces. Bishop takes on e7, queen takes on e7, but now comes knight to d5, and white knight is well placed on d5. The queen is under attack, queen goes back home, white is standing slightly better. But now rook to e3, intending rook to g3. Knight to e5, rook to g3. Note how white queen and white rook are connecting on g7. f6, f4, attacking the well-placed knight. Knight to c6, attacking the queen, but blocking the pawn on c6. The queen must move, a queen to c3, black to move. Rook to f7 was played. Perhaps king to h8 should have been considered. Back to our game. Rook to f7. And now f5. Black to move. Queen to f8. Queen to b3. And black is already quite worried. King to h8. Knight to f4. Black to move. The pawn on b7 is attacked, but Thomas played knight to e5. Why? Why he didn't defend the pawn on b7? Let's take it back. If rook to b8, then white has an awesome combination available at his disposal. Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? This is what Capablanca had in mind. Knight to g6, check. h takes on g6. Rook to h3, check. King to g8. f takes on g6, attacking the pinned rook. Queen to e8. Pawn takes rook, check. Queen takes on f7. Rook to h8, check. Deflecting the king from protecting the queen. King takes rook, queen takes on f7, and white is winning. Back to our game. So, play with the black pieces, Thomas played knight to e5, allowing queen takes on b7. Better than losing the game quickly. Rook to b8, queen takes on a6, rook takes pawn on b2, white to move. Rook to b3, giving up the pawn on c2 intending to double the rooks on the b-file and to play rook to b8. It looks like a winning plan, doesn't it? Rook takes pawn on c2, rook from a to b1, and black is in panic mode. h6 was played, providing some air for the king, and to avoid back rank problems perhaps. Let's take it back. How about rook to e7, intending rook to e8, then knight to e6, attacking the queen, and attack queen to e8. Black has a difficult position. Next move is queen to a7, intending rook to b8. Back to our game. h6 was played, but this creates a hole on g6. Knight to g6, check. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight attacking the rook. And it looks like that black king will not go to h7. 
rook to e7, rook to b8, attacking the queen, but now rook to e8. It is white to move. This is now the most interesting position of the game. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? I will show you three ways for white to win. First is queen to b5. This is winning. Second is queen to a7. And I like the third one the most. And that is rook takes a rook on e8. Queen takes a rook. Queen to a4. Attacking the rook. And the queen. If queen takes on a4, then check. And check mate. And what else? In this position, black can prolong the game with this check. Then king takes on g2. Queen takes on g6. King to h1. No more checks. And white should be winning. Back to our game. In this position, Capablanca blundered with the queen to a8. And what did his opponent do? His opponent resigned. What's wrong with queen to a8? Black has a good response to this move, and that is rook takes pawn on a2. If queen takes on a2, then rook takes on b8, and black is even slightly better. And let's go back. After rook takes on a2, the best move is queen to b7. And then black plays rook to e2, queen takes on c7, rook takes on e4. Black is a pawn up, but it is about equal. However, in this position, Thomas resigned. Both players simply did not devote sufficient time to examine this position. Well, player with the black pieces, Thomas, thought that Capablanca is a chess machine, like a stockfish today. So, he didn't question queen to a8. He simply resigned. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.